Imagine a place, mystic, mysterious, and vibrant. Framed by mighty mountains and gently rolling hills. Home to sparkling rivers and sacred lakes. Strewn with exotic flowers and amazing animals. Imagine a people, gentle, graceful, and welcoming, at one with nature, keeping alive their rich heritage. Imagine paradise, unexplored. Welcome to the wonderland that is the northeast of India. They call the Seven Sisters, and then Sikkim each more beautiful, with distinct characteristics. Together, a kaleidoscope of magical imagery, challenging adventure and an enriching experience. Shillong, the Scotland of the Northeast, Tagore used the setting for arguably his most romantic novel, quaint, unhurried. Set amid smoky blue hills thick with pine trees and orchids, singing brooks, scenic lakeside views and crashing waterfalls. Sprawling tea estates, even Harmonious, green, very green. The region produces some of the best teas in the world. Assam, the tea country. A drive or a walk through the silent acres of lush green is a soothing sight. The centuries-old heritage tea bungalows of Assam, reminiscent of a romantic lifestyle fostered by the splendid isolation of the prosperous tea estates. Tripura, a royal feast, dotted with magnificent palaces, spectacular in their indulgence, invoking the spirit of a romantic heritage. The magnificent Ujayanta Palace, set amid sprawling gardens in the Mughal style, the crowning glory of Agartala. The Nir Mahal, incandescent, opulent, romantic, rising in the middle of a natural lake, Rudra Sagar. Resplendent in the glow of the evening sun. The Kanchenjunga looks down benignly. There's a mystic hush. Pema Yangtze in East Sikkim, the oldest and the holiest of all gompas in the state, home to priceless artifacts of Mahayana Buddhism. Sikkim, unique, mystical, the land of Buddhist monasteries. Almost 200 gompas dot the tiny state. The most significant monastery of the state, the picturesque Rumtek, the seat of the Karmapas, a recreation of the Surfu monastery in Tibet, their original seat. High up in the Himalayas, across snow-covered passes, forever in a clouded haze that heightens its mystic density, the 400-year-old fortress monastery of Tawang. A gigantic 10-meter statue of the Buddha, exuding spirituality and peace. Kamakya Temple in Gawahati, Assam, located on the Nilachal Parvat. The temple dedicated to the Mother Goddess one of the 51 peets or holy spots in Hinduism. Kamakya, 
the Yoni Peat. It houses a sculptured image of the Yoni of the Goddess, symbolic of life and its perpetuation, the object of reverence. For the religious wildlife fans, one is spoilt for choice in the Northeast. With its national parks and sanctuaries, some of the most spectacular species of birds and animals in the world. Kaziranga, on the south bank of the Brahmaputra, is the oldest park in Assam. Spread across 430 square kilometers, it is a dazzling mosaic of dense rainforest, tall elephant grass and swathes of reeds. It is one of the few remaining natural habitats of the great Asiatic one-horned rhino. For the truly dedicated wilderness and wildlife fan, a visit to the Namda Far National Park in Arunachal Pradesh is a challenging and exciting goal. A unique feature of the sanctuary is that it is the only park in the world where four of the great felines are found. The tiger, the leopard, the snow leopard and the clouded leopard. The sanctuary also has 150 species of trees and a fabulous wealth of medicinal and ornamental plants. Thrilling, exciting and wide-ranging, the scope of adventure is aplenty. The unspoiled natural splendor and tranquility of the countryside has made certain regions in Sikkim ideal for trekking. There are treks that offer magnificent glimpses of the mighty Kanchenjunga, the guardian deity of the state. The stunning Chango Lake, held sacred by the locals. A picturesque backdrop for yak safaris. Those seeking white water action will find the Tista and Rangit with their sparkling, turbulent waters, ideal for river rafting and kayaking. Here the water's placid, the boat ride a more tranquil experience, the mighty Brahmaputra, the soul of Assam. the Northeast, a soulful experience, inhabited by a fabulous people, scantily populated, yet its ethnic diversity unparalleled. In Arunachal reside 25 different tribes who can trace their origins to places like Tibet, China and Mongolia. Each tribe has distinctive features and each have a distinctive identity manifest in their unique cultures. The hill tribes in the areas now known as Nagaland had no generic term applicable to the whole race. The word Naga was given to these hill tribes by the people from the plains. Weaving is a traditional art handed down through generations in Nagaland. Each of the major tribes has its own unique designs and colors. Warm and colorful Naga shawls, hand-woven shoulder bags, decorative spears and bamboo works make magnificent souvenirs. Mizoram, with the finest choir singers in the northeast, is truly the songbird of the region. The Mizos are sociable, fun-loving people, and despite external influences, they have been able to retain and keep their cultural identity and traditions intact. Manipur, known as the land of Radha and Krishna, has gifted India its graceful and lyrical Raslila, 
a classical dance that enacts the love story of Radha and Krishna. The Northeast, an experience difficult to translate in words or pictures. No adjectives are descriptive enough. No pictures expressive enough. One must feel it firsthand. The land showcases stunning pageant of cultures, expressions that lend a fantastic dimension to the larger Indian experience. A journey through the Northeast is akin to exploring paradise. <laughs>